Hello and welcome to those who have joined from India. And good morning to uh, good morning and good afternoon to those who have joined from different parts of the world. Today's webinar is on social media drive towards organization excellence, which is being presented by Mr. Shikant Kodaman, TCO Nine Pixel Entertainment Lim Private Limited. I am Varun Kare and I will be your host for this webinar. So in the last webinar, we are unable to cover uh, this topic, System th Thinking Archetypes in Six Sigma Based Implementation Project because of the technical issues uh, from the presenter end. So this webinar is now shifted on 15th November 2012. So those who have not joined for, uh, those, those who have not registered for this webinar, they can register uh, through, uh, through the LASIP website webinars portion. Shikan, can you move on to the next slide? So, th those who are those who are being a regular to this webinar, they might know about the last step. Those who are new to this uh, webinar, uh, I wanted to let you know about something about LASIP. LASIP is a Lean and Six Sigma International Board. It's a not-for-profit society in the area of Lean Six Sigma and business excellence. It was conceptualized in 2009 and came into existence in 2010 and it was registered in 2011. Why we are here? Because Lean Six Sigma concepts are here to stay and it is applied to every industry, every organization, whether it is manufacturing, whether it is software or whether it is social media, these, these concepts are applied to every industry. We are doing we are we are doing this webinar to to spread the awareness of Lean Six Sigma concept, and this is just a small step towards creating awareness to the to the community at large. Shikant, can move on to the next slide? We are we are very proud to say that in the span of one and a half years, we have touched the lives of over ten thousand professionals from forty plus countries. Shikant can move on to the next slide. Now before we move on to the presentation, let us walk you through the, some of the ground rules of this webinar. So total duration of this webinar will be of 45 minutes and the presentation duration is of 30 minutes. And question and answer session is of 50 minutes. You can post your question on the webinar chat box provided to you on the right hand side of your screen. That is go to meeting uh, screen. The video of this webinar will be available at the uh, link given uh, uh, event to you on your screen. Presentation for this uh, only only is only downloadable for professional members and corporate members only. In case of any problem, please contact me. The contact details uh, of mine is there on your screen. So uh, let me introduce uh, to you our presentation presenter today, Mr. Srikant Kodavanti. Mr. Shikant Kodamanti is the Chief Executive Officer at Nine Pixel Entertainment Private Limited, a company into media and enterprise industry. At Nine Pixel Entertainment, they create and produce large-scale, innovative, and profitable media concepts across all areas of entertainment. Nine Pixel serves the media and the entertainment, event management services, public relations, and consultancy services, and creative work for its clientele. Shikant is a computer engineering graduate and holds a double postgraduate degree, MBA specialized in marketing from SRM University of Chennai and a fellow PG program holder on entrepreneurship from Indian School of Business, Hyderabad. Shikant has an expertise in the fields of web technology and IT, retail, infrastructure, travel and tourism, distribution, media and entertainment, marketing and research. He also serves as a consultant for many companies in New Delhi and Mumbai. He is the founder, chief consultant and CEO for his company Idealist, which provides consulting solutions to the client. His current passion is to help build next generation global enterprises based on innovative business and customer models of partnership. Now without further ado, I now hand over to Shikant to start the webinar. Shikant, over to you. Thank you so much, Varun. Uh, thank you so much for the introduction. Uh, hi everyone, this is Shikant Puduvanti. And uh, we are going to have a good learning session about uh, social media and uh, the drive towards the organization excellence. So most importantly to start with, uh, the agenda of today's uh, webinar would be uh, to discuss about social media. The, the truths and the facts of uh, what social media has uh, you know, uh, left uh, to us uh, in this society these days. 
and uh, uh, how to uh, how to be adopted because there is again a gap uh, in adopting the social media. Uh, however, that individuals have taken it uh, to an extent, but the business wise, the uh, return on investments uh, is a big concern uh, still for a couple of companies. So, uh, how do that uh, particular area be addressed by the uh, use of social media is what we are going to discuss. So quickly getting into the topic, social media is much aware of everyone. These days uh, every consumer, uh, you know, the behavior of every consumer has changed uh, radically uh, for last couple of years. So the way people purchase or maybe the kind of decisions what they take uh, uh, in terms of e-commerce uh, uh, and using the e-portals e these days is, uh, you know, uh, self-explanatory because the increasing based on the word of mouth and peer recommendations is what, uh, uh, you know, the purchase is all about. So the social media plays a vital role there. At the same time, the social media has uh, accelerated the evolution on a scale as uh, we have never seen before. I'm sure everybody admit the fact that it's one of the hottest topic which we all discuss these days, right, from getting up early in the morning and, you know, going back to the bed. It's, it's one of the hot topics in business as well. So when it comes to corporate, every company is trying to do something in social media to surf on the trend, to sell the uh, product, to sell the brand, to make brand identity. So most often it is marketing or campaign oriented, uh, focusing on short term results. So how do we address the social media? is what the big concern. So getting into the next uh, uh, important fact, the, the truths of what the social media has led. You know, when we talk about social media, we talk about Facebook, which is the, uh, the most social networking uh, site where uh, majority of the people access. The number speaks itself because Facebook, uh, I'm, I'm sure every one of us connect, this is a connector which uh, connects individuals peer to peer uh, and share uh, a lot of knowledge, share interest. Every every single thing has been discussed on Facebook, right from the comments, right from the status updates. So Facebook has a vital role. So uh, to be statistically correct, uh, the number of uh, re uh, registers uh, uh, on Facebook is more than the number of vehicles which are there in the world. So that's that's the that's the immense. Uh, power of uh, you know uh, social media so coming next to twitter is one big update where uh, i quickly want to run through because the amount of tweets uh, what uh, the people follow through every day is again a huge number so it, linkedin is one big uh, social portal where uh, a lot of recruiters use this uh, for recruitment purposes again peer to peer connectivity happens through linkedin i'm sure everybody is aware on simpler lines, we have blogging, we have applications, we have, you know, mobile activities happening through across. So the Flickr is again one, one area where people connect through the uh, photo sharing pattern. And not to forget Google and YouTube being the uh, number one, the uh, number two, uh, respectively, search, in, search engines in the world. So, you know, everywhere we see there's a social connect. So social media definitely plays a vital role. And uh, that, that runs me through the next uh, slide, which talks about the biggest shift since the Industrial Revolution. So the image talks by itself. The 3.5 billion pieces of content are shared each week on Facebook. The Facebook users access the site through their mobile phones. We, we talk about mobile connectivity these days. The smartphones, the Androids. The iPads are playing a vital role. The e-readers e uh, uh, have become uh, one of the famous stock these days. So we have the access of everything. So we, we talk about um, the numbers. We talk about the social network. Everything bends down to social media these days. So this explains everything uh, about social media. So the important fact uh, which we are all missing out is the population. The world's population talks about China, India, and the third number ranking is Facebook, which talks about the number of registers on Facebook these days. So that is the importance of social network and social media. So why I'm connecting this is because the 11 percentage of people have Facebook accounts, 60 percentage of the population log on to Facebook every day. 
average friend list on Facebook is 130 people. Every 60 seconds we see 5,10,000 post comments, 2,93,000 people status updates, and 1,36 people up, up follow their apps. So the power of social media speaks all about the numbers. Today, this, uh, all numbers speak about, it speaks about social media, and it says that social media always say that we provide the content, not the commercial. Why? Because we don't make money through the social media. We make business by uh, connecting peer to peer and by connecting and getting the trust of the person through the connect of the social media. So that is more important for any person to understand. Let's talk about an individual blogger he or she should understand how do they market themselves with the use of the social media. Now, uh, we have just discussed about the numbers, the statistical data of uh, how the Facebook or the Twitter, for the matter, any social network plays a vital role. So, in the same sense, we need to understand that uh, every single person, let's talk about uh, uh, MLM structure, you know, multi-level marketing people adopt the social media in such a way that, you know, they connect peer-to-peer -peer and they get the best ROI uh, in terms of marketing the product. So that is what it makes. How do you brand yourself for social media? But how do we exactly use the social media is what very important for every one of us to understand. So that is where uh, we are discussing a couple of uh, things about uh, uh, the base and uh, the means, what can uh, social media do. So just a quick update of what is the advantages of social media which I uh, tried to putting in a couple of uh, uh, pointers. The trust is very important for any person to sell, as I just mentioned. So for me, through the social media, we can always build up the trust. When we build up the trust, that's when we get the uh, confidence of our own product at the same time the confidence of the other person and, we, and, the, and the word of mouth and the peer-to-peer -peer recommendation always follow through for the success of our business. That, adds, that definitely adds on to the organizational excellence. The second point of advantage of social media is it offers you products or services. I'm sure we all understand this. Through the social media, I'm sure on Facebook or uh, for that matter Twitter, a lot of people, a lot of people do do uh, uh, provide uh, the services and the products. So respectively, we, we perceive as an expert because we know what is uh, that we are, we are trying to uh, buy or what is that we are going to sell. So perceiving as an expert is very important uh, for, for a customer point of view. It's, it's very important for recommending to the other person or for that matter for buying for their own self. At the same time, uh, it also gives us a confidence to sell our own product. So, personally, as an expert is very important. The outstanding visibility, it, it is well substantiated with the example of e-commerce. I'm sure uh, everybody uh, 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 would love purchasing uh, stuff from uh, the e-commerce portals. We all know what the social media uh, uh, does uh, in this particular area in understanding the uh, visibility of the product and understanding the brand for that matter. So that is a big advantage of social media. Familiarity. So these days uh, it's not about the ranking or the rating of a particular product. It's about the ranking and the rate, uh, rating of uh, the individual recommendations or the comments what people give on that particular product, what matters. So advantage of familiarity also matters a lot. Makes it credible. I'm, I'm sure the credibility factor also uh, uh, adds on from the trust and all the pointers what uh, you create through the usage of the social media. Definitely increases referrals because word of mouth and again referrals uh, follows back with the, with the kind of practice what you adopt through the social media. It creates new relationships, every connect, every, uh, every link, every uh, Twitter ads uh, makes you uh, a connect with the new relationships uh, and, 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 and a person to a person uh, immaterial of the demographics. You connect, you refer, you recommend, you always spread across your brand. So I think this is one of the biggest uh, point uh, for considering for any organization to build up new relationships. 
demand higher prices i'm sure when the when the supply and when the when the uh, the brand uh, itself talks about the demand so it definitely it's uh, you know equally proportional to the prices so that's where we make it as top of the mind if we talk about all the pointers it makes the top of mind which helps people to trust you i think uh, from my end it's very important to to uh, elaborate to the entire uh, audience out there that to sell any product the trust of the customer is very important for us to gain that's where i connect the social media as one of the biggest advantage to adopt that social media will always help us to uh, uh, you know create the trust in the customers and then comes our service or the product or whatever we sell so i quickly move on to the next topic so considering the fact uh, what we have discussed uh, we have uh, four steps to successfully adopt the social media how do we do that we need to understand how do we find the like minded people as in the find interested people how do we create that the, the people's interest matters a lot when we when we have the audience or when we have the uh, requisite uh, uh, customers uh, who will be interested in your particular brand then your selling becomes easy so the biggest tool or the technique what we can adopt these days is the social media so uh, which which uh, tends us to deliver the quality content which is the very next point so it's very important when we have these uh, confined the audience then it's very important for us to deliver the quality content to them and again considering the fact not the commercial aspect it's the quality which matters whatever service or whatever uh, kind of product you're delivering matters a lot with the quality what is going along with the product matters a lot to the interested audience third is how do you capture that information which uh, is again a very important role because uh, it builds up the relationships with the people because capturing information is very important uh, and uh, how do you stay in touch with those people to maintain those relationships again uh, is one of the most important uh, a point uh, to address to have a successful adoption of the social media now when we talk about corporates uh, for that matter we need to understand uh, what's very important uh, for the company you know uh, the companies generally uh, use this social media to an extent but there is still a loophole where a lot of organizations still uh, have a problem to uh, you know uh, project their product or brand their uh, product uh, uh, to the audience so many of them have taken off but there is there's still a uh, lack in the uh, uh, people uh, where, where, where they're still suffering uh, to connect with the product so I have just arrived to a couple of pointers where I felt uh, these four points would definitely add on uh, in building up the uh, connector for the organizations to the customers so via the social media so the first point is the capability building any organization to, uh, uh, should understand uh, what are the key parameter uh, parameters which should uh, uh, internally build up before even spreading the product or the brand to the audience to the outer audience so the capability building is very important internally uh, uh, you talk about your brand you talk about your product what does it offer and how does this makes a, a quality sale or quality service does matters a lot so the capability building is very important uh, for any organization to integrate uh, along with the social media to reach the uh, uh, final audience so the pilot mode talks about completely the uh, the way you address it uh, uh, and reach to the social media as in you know initially for any for that example for uh, even doing a, a business unit you always do a kind of a pilot study so this is exactly that mode which I uh, tried mentioning that you know there should always be a pilot mode, a trial and error version where uh, uh, you you position your brand and uh, you target your brand to a specific audience. So social media, if you if you need to use the social media in, uh, in a proper way, then you need to do a proper pilot uh, study uh, before even um, uh, placing or uh, positioning your uh, particular brand. 
The integration mode is very necessary because it integrates with different levels uh, during the social media when, when you connect your brand through the social media. And uh, leverage mode is where you try leveraging to a couple of other parameters uh, which comes into consideration. So considering the fact these days, you know, these are a couple of uh, pointers which I thought I'll discuss because the first is uh, social media right from uh, the day uh, we get up early in the morning we all tend to look into uh, the newspapers but the kind of uh, uh, version what we started sharing these days is the e uh, uh, reading uh, ability is what we started adopting so the social media again uh, plays a vital role there because uh, uh, through the social media we started connecting again this is an example where uh, through the webinar, we, we tried connecting to share a couple of uh, uh, you know pointers uh, through the social media. So the proper usage of uh, the proper usage of this uh, social media is very important. We are trying to discuss about uh, the different ways what the organization should adopt. Definitely, the strategic point of view uh, it's, a, it's a big challenge for any organization because social media again creates a good uh, 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 image about your brand at the same time if it is not adopted properly then it definitely gives leaves a bad uh, uh, image in, uh, in, in the particular market because uh, the word of mouth and the peer-to-peer -peer recommendation as I mentioned uh, uh, that's where your brand always follows through so considering my own example, uh, talking about my main uh, media company, we generally have this uh, option where whatever we do, we publish it. For that matter, if we, if we talk about a travel or tourism company, these days it's, it's very important for uh, any organization to do a public uh, advertisement, not on the commercial aspect, but to present themselves how or what kind of service or what kind of uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, products or in terms of uh, uh, vacation, holidays or whatever you talk about in terms of your services of your company should be presented in the uh, social media. So we, we generally, you know, a lot of organizations started doing those uh, publicity factor in terms of Facebook. So definitely uh, uh, the Facebook, again, uh, Twitter has become an online uh, substitute for a anyone because you know, you talk about a celebrity in, uh, or uh, you talk about their endorsement or you talk about uh, any person or any company for that matter on the launch or uh, rebranding or you talk about uh, for that matter any uh, any big uh, speaker. They love sharing their uh, comments, the status and their particular topic of interest and the particular uh, update of the life uh, on the social media. So. It is a big connector again, so I'm sure everybody accept the fact that uh, social media is uh, a big uh, uh, tool or a technique, not only for uh, individuals, but at the same time, it's, it's a big tool for the corporates uh, and the organizations to adopt. Uh, so um, these are a few of the pointers, but at the same time, I just wanted to check uh, with Mr. Varun. Uh, uh, are we uh, through with the time or do we still have some more time to present on the same? Take two or three minutes more. Varun? Yes, you can take two three minutes more. Alright, All right, great. So, I tried uh, squeezing in many of the pointers uh, in this presentation, but uh, my point restricts to only a few things on how do we adopt or what is the roadmap to address the methodology or the technique for the organizations uh, to adopt the social media. Uh, I reckon uh, that's that's exactly what the social media drive towards organization is, uh, excellence is all about. But uh, my strong point is, yes, definitely social media is a big revolution uh, uh, right from the information technology and industrial revolution. So I'm sure we all should, uh, it, it's a vast topic, uh, definitely it's a vast topic, but at the same time, all my uh, point says is that, you know, we all understand what is social media, but what is more important is how well do we use the social media is, is the first step to convert this social media uh, uh, platform to a, a business tool uh, for an individual perspective or maybe for any organization. 
to achieve the organizational excellence. So uh, that's that's what uh, my whole presentation or uh, this uh, learning is all about. Guru. Yeah, Varun. Yeah, th thanks, Shekhar, for the wonderful presentation and uh, for the wonderful presentation you did and this, how, how social media is helping uh, organization to deliver excellence. Uh, thanks very much. And before we move on to the question answer session, can you, Shikant, can you move on to the next slide? Sure. So, so before we move, before we move on to the uh, question answer session, I just wanted to let you know about the next webinar, which is on Lean Six Sigma, how Lean Six Sigma applied to rural market, and uh, which is on 1st November, uh, 1st November 30 at 7.30 p.m. IST. For registration, you can directly contact me. Uh, through my email ID or you can uh, directly go to LASIC website under webinar portion and you can register yourself there. So the first question for Shrikant for you is, yep. is, is there on your chat box Shrikant? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh... Can you see the chat box? Yeah, I think uh, the first question is, uh, would there be any standard method to find people who are interested in an organization, organization's content? Uh, there are certain uh, uh, methods uh, in terms of finding out uh, the interest levels of the people uh, in the kind of organization content. I think it's it's one of the biggest challenge, uh, rather say it's the biggest uh, challenge what the companies are facing these days because understanding the interest level of the people is the biggest challenge is what I believe. So, you know, the, the real challenge what companies are facing is uh, uh, not learning how to use the social media to marketing purposes. Uh, but definitely I'm, I'm sure they're trying to integrate it dynamics uh, uh, throughout the entire organization to understand the interest levels and it differs from company to company and service to service and product to product. They are standardized methods and uh, it is, uh, it, uh, the organization is still on. Uh, uh, on, a, on a traditional note, I'm sure, um, the, uh, for a small example, I think on Facebook, uh, to just take my own uh, self example, though I have another company which is into uh, tourism, travel and tourism, so what we generally do is we do understand the, the requirement at the first stage. We try to understand, I'd rather say that, and we try to place those interest levels into a, a kind of a, a product or service or in, in terms of an advertising mode and present it to the audience on, on social media. So with the amount of comments and the likes and the kind of status updates what we receive from the people, that's again a learning. So it's, it's a very traditional mode of uh, learning for us uh, to see what is the interest levels of the uh, audience. Thanks, Khan, for the answer. Uh, the second question for you is on your chat box. Shikan? Yeah, I have this question right now. So, would certain content be specifically relevant to a particular social media? Uh, I think social media, as we just discussed, uh, under social media there are again different uh, categories. Uh, social media is again a connect uh, through the social networking uh, uh, tools and uh, options what we have these days. So uh, I'm sure Facebook cannot do what a Twitter does and a LinkedIn cannot do what a, a Facebook does or rather Facebook cannot do what a LinkedIn does. So every social connect has their own uh, their pros and cons. At the same time, uh, you know, the content placement, as I say, you know, the content matters a lot and not the commercial. So I'm sure content definitely um, is, um, you know, respective to those uh, particular networks, what we connect to or what kind of tools we adopt to make it matter uh, to an individual or an organization. It differs, definitely differs. Uh, but uh, yeah, it can be a resource in the future that you know everything falls into one category like e-commerce 
can definitely be addressed to uh, uh, every social media. At the same time, there are specific uh, content which cannot be placed uh, uh, relevant to uh, specific uh, social media networks. It has to differ from uh, interest to interest and offerings to offerings. Uh, thanks, Shikant. I think uh, those who have, those who have asked the question has got the answer. So that's all the question we have for today, Shikant. And thank yeah. you very much for taking up your time, to, to your valuable time, and presenting on behalf of LASEB. So thank you very much, Shikant, and thank you all to those who have joined from India and from different parts of the world. And we look forward to hosting you at the next webinar. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rob. Thank you. Thank you.